guys, give it up for the Latina queen of comedy. I've been getting ready for the special since the first time I started doing stand-up. My famous line, everybody who knows me, I always tell them, go is you because you are gonna eventually show up anyway. When did I realize that I wanted to be a comedian? Honestly, the first time that I was on stage when I bombed. It was so bad I wanted to fall on the floor and just die. And that was the day when I said, oh, I think I want to keep doing this. I'm standing on the shoulders of great people who did a lot of things and made a lot of sacrifices so that I could be a stand-up comedian. The reason why I chose the places that I chose for the special, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and the Bronx, they have a lot of meaning to me. My mother's from Puerto Rico, my grandmother, my family that raised me. My father is Dominican, and that's a part of who I am, even though it came to me later in life. The Bronx is where I got kidnapped, where my grandmother stole me from my mother, and I was afraid to come back here. I had to find a place where I could reconcile all the traumatic things that happened to me so that I could function in life and move forward. And for me, comedy was that pathway to that. I met my father for the first time when I went to the Dominican Republic. And if I'm honest, I'm still processing that. That was a lot for me. <laughs> I met him along with three sisters, two brother-in-laws, five nieces and nephews. It was a beautiful experience for me, and it will 100% be in the stand-up. I had an opportunity to go to the Dominican Republic and meet my father. He was trying to relate to me, and he was like, Mami, tu sabe, you know, you a performer, because I used to be a performer. I used to sing about the beaches. And I was like, the ocean? He was like, no, the beaches. <laughs> he was saying the bitches. When you come see Ayla Rodriguez, you're going to experience something that's authentic, true, real, and a perspective that comes from somebody who really put a lot of work into sharing that with you. I don't think people understand what this moment means to me because I've been told that I'm, I'm too this, not enough that. This, I've had friends quit comedy, say I can't do this anymore. I feel so much on me, you know? This is an emotional moment for me because when you look at the ecosystem, you don't see many women who are Latinas doing hours of stand-up comedy. But I will be very honest with you, I live by the belief that one set does not a comic make. I chose the title Fighting Words because at this point where we are, everything is fighting words. If you say you like oranges, that means you hate apples. I decided that in this special, I'm going to really say what I mean. So if you want to fight, let's go. Come on, Karen, let's go.